welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing another one of the candidate spotlights on Mike Pence. Um, I'm going to try to make this pretty quick. Starting off, I think he's really weak with the white working class. I think he's, I, I think he's a terrible candidate for the white working class. He's too establishmentarian. He's somewhat on, like, he, he's somewhat, like, pretty far right. But not like there. There are ways in which I think he's more, more conservative than than Trump is. But I don't think that he has the populism that Trump does. He's still an establishmentarian um, candidate, which is not a good thing with um, the white working class. In fact, we've even, we like for example, Joe Manchin is an establishmentarian candidate, or sort, or he's a moderate, but he's populist. Moder you can be moderate and still be a good candidate for the white working class. Pence, it's, it doesn't fully work the other way around. I don't think, like, obviously it can be, but it's much harder, I think, to be establishmentarian and farther to your side of the aisle and be good for the white working class than it is to be moderate but be populist and be good for the white working class. And Pence is a terrible candidate for the white working class. For white rural voters, he's terrible. Um, He doesn't have the Trumpist appeal at this point. Um, with black voters, I think he's one of the weaker Republicans. I think he and Trump are weak in different ways, but similar levels of weaknesses. I don't know if that fully makes sense. I'm just gonna hope it did. Um, they they they're they're very they're both I would say similar in like how weak they are, but they're the reasoning or like the ways in which they're weak is different. I mean, the Talman tried to say it. Um, I think with suburbanites generally, he's pretty weak. I mean, I guess he's a establishmentarian, um, which typically helps. I think he's fairly conservative. I think his Trumpist views in the past will probably hurt him. Um, I think in Arizona suburbs, he's a phenomenal candidate. I think he's one of the best Republican candidates for traditionally conservative suburbanites. Like, him and Mitt Romney, I would say, are probably the two best um, for traditionally conservative suburbanites in Arizona. There's... He, he has the traditional conservatism. He also has... I don't, I don't necessarily want to say anti-Trumpism, but he has... He has a lot of Trump... Like very, um, he has a lot of the Trump base very against him, and, um, I mean, like, obviously, he, like, wasn't allowed to decertify the 2020 results or whatever, um, it was that a lot of, um, people were trying to get him to do, which he wasn't allowed to do, so obviously, he, like, it's, it's not like he opted not to because he seemed to want to but it's not it's it's a weird thing to talk about but like it's not that he wanted not to now i'm talking about something completely different but it's i i think that that could be viewed as him taking a stand against trump even though he wasn't allowed to but i could see it being like people people interpreting it as like yeah he's not like about to try to do things that he's not allowed to do um in order to support Trump, which could definitely help him in anti-Trump, yet traditionally conservative suburbs. I think that's a very, very, um, a very, very, I, I think that he's definitely strong with those suburbanites. I think he's done a lot that I think would help him with them. Um, I think that with Hispanic and Latino voters, he's just really weak. It's probably the best way to put it. He's he's a terrible candidate for Hispanic and Latino voters. Um, I think that Trump is a generally man candidate for Hispanic and Latino voters for the GOP. I think he's actually very well in Texas and Florida. I could realistically see him being weaker for Hispanic and Latino voters in Texas and Florida than in Arizona. It's not a good thing for him. He's not particularly strong with Hispanic and Latino voters. Um, with white rural college educated voters, I think it's pretty meh. Like nothing extraordinary, but like not terrible. He's somewhat establishmentarian. Has I, I think that his 
I, I think that he, in ways, can be more conservative than Trump, which could probably hurt him. But I don't think he's, like, horrendous. I think he's, like, a pretty meh candidate for white rural college educated voters. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like below. Stay tuned for my next video. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please comment your suggestions down below. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye!